Hey yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Now, if you're feeling anything like me, I'm sure you know it's crazy just how quickly this year has flown by and the fact that we're three quarters of the way through 2023. Now, I'm sure you've been taking consistent action and smashing it out or maybe you're feeling gutted at the fact that another year has passed you by, but the good news is that we still have a quarter left to go out and dominate. And what better way than to finally launch onto Amazon Australia? Now, I know it's daunting and there's this excuse and that excuse. That's why I make all this content to make it as easy as possible for you. And I talk about all these different tools that can help you. And you know that one of my favorite is actually Zonguru, which I believe is one of the best tools for sellers like us. And they've actually come out with some fantastic new stuff recently that can help you in this last quarter of the year. And who better to go through it with us than the CEO. So welcome. We have here today, John Tilly. How are you today, mate? What's up, man? Good to, good to meet you guys. You get, me, uh, you get me on a Friday in Los Angeles in my garage jamming away. Yeah. So you're getting the real deal right here. Yeah. That's right. Look, I love it. I always try to, to keep it real and show people that it's um, not always the fancy stuff and where the hard work comes in. Um, and, and you get me in my workout shirt. I just finished working out a little bit ago. So you're getting, you're getting, you're getting it all. <laughs> okay, look, that's even better. And look, I obviously, um, I talk about yourself and your team and Zonguru on the channel quite a lot, um, but I'd love it if just for everyone watching, if you could just give a super quick, like who you are and how you came into the into the Amazon world. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, I'm originally uh, from South Africa. Most most people in Australia will, will know the accent um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and hate us accordingly during the Rugby World Cup. But uh, yes, um, yeah, the... Uh, <laughs> You know, I grew up in South Africa. I came to the States and uh, I was in digital advertising for a long time and then, uh, you know, launched a few products like most of us uh, on, on Amazon and, and grew that side business for a while that, that quickly became a substantial business. Uh, I focused on that. You know, I, I got really passionate about the space because it literally is, uh, you know, a platform. It was then and it is absolutely still today a platform that anybody from any country, any background, any education level can can literally learn um mm. and, and grow a substantial business and, and and get to financial freedom if they really apply themselves so it, it is an amazing platform um and uh you know through that process i, I launched uh zonguru um it, it's really you know part part of the reason behind it was at the time and even still today there's a lot of software out there that just gives you data for the sake of data but it's really like, you know, how do you visualize that data? How do you present that data to answer the right business questions and be most impactful in the in the best way possible? And so that's what we really focus on as a lens inside of Zongu. Um, and we've grown the, the tool over years. Over the years, we have 18 tools. Uh, you know, we're connected to North America, Europe, Australia, and India as marketplaces. Um, and, you know, the, the position we're at right now is we're an operational tool set to run your storefront um and and get the kind of data insights and the automation in place to to scale um and our focus is is sellers uh, as well as agencies so you know agencies are, are a focus of ours for a number of reasons but um there are great product market fits but the kind of questions we're solving at at the agency or the enterprise level with enterprise brands filter down to any user of zongu right so it's helping mm -hmm. us to you know deliver our expertise answer you know smarter questions more complicated questions in the best way possible to help us all scale and that's what we want so uh, that's on guru in a nutshell um you know most people who know us we, we we've launched um some pretty industry leading tools including the our chat gbt integration we were the first in the space um and we're still industry leading there and our keyword intelligence and our data insights so um yeah that's it yeah yeah look that's fantastic and you know like i said um, I obviously talk about Zonguru a lot. I've had so there's so you know different seller tools and software companies out there. I've had nearly all of them reach out to me, be like, "Hey, advertise our tool," and I always keep coming back to Zonguru as the best one um, that I always talk about. Um, and for the people watching, and John, I know you might not know this, but I've actually I know you you're obviously the CEO of Zonguru, and you said that you're a, an Amazon seller yourself and used to do it. And I I used to be part of Reliable Education right before okay. it came to an end um so I've, i always used to look out for your lessons and have the notebook there because i knew that you're a seller and you get to see like all the back end numbers and you've seen so many winning products but then losing products as well so for the people watching you know john just has a a wealth of knowledge um surrounding it 
but I actually posted uh, to the people that are watching saying we had you coming on and everyone was really excited and I put a little poll up being like what sort of things did you want John to talk about and I got a flood of answers that obviously had to like narrow it down because I only have so much time um, but I sort of narrowed it down to two and like if we just jumping straight into it for the first one um, obviously like you said most of the people watching are either selling on Amazon Australia or going to launch on Amazon Australia um, mm. and as someone who sort of sees all the back-end numbers they just sort of wanted to know your thoughts on where you see the Australian market sort of progressing over the next couple of years and I guess from like a numbers point of view is there like somewhere where you still see the big opportunities lying yeah I mean I you know I've always been a, a, a supporter of, of um, the Australian Amazon marketplace back when it launched and and mm. the, the you know the thought around that was you know when I, I remember in 2013 2014 when I was looking at launching a product on Amazon uh, USA you know it was like hey we would put in ten thousand dollars and that product was doing fifty thousand dollars a month Mm. you know fast forward five years you know it was costing fifty sixty thousand dollars to get into the marketplace and that product was doing 500 to a million dollars a month right so there was mm. this massive progression and and when you look at amazon what what that what they've done really well is they go into a marketplace and they absolutely crush any competition from a yes. retail perspective because they have an amazing uh you know not everything is great about amazon but they are very good at um you know creating a distribution center and bringing in amazon prime which at in a nutshell what it what it creates is is an everyday consumer experience right and you you see that you see that i'm sure in australia now where where a few years ago you know everything was about going to retail now now you probably you know spend some time going on amazon and buying products and it becomes part of your everyday experience and that's the critical you know uh, you know turning point that happens in e-commerce when they go into marketplaces and they've done it time and time again and so mm. uh, when they entered australia and they built the biggest warehouse you know that they've ever built you know you know that they're serious about going to that marketplace that launched new zealand um and and will continue in that in that direction so you know when i look at it and i look at what happened in the us there, there's an amazing opportunity still today and and it was a couple of years ago to to launch products on amazon on, on amazon australia but you can what's great about it you don't, you can launch products that are are a bigger niche than what you could launch in mm. in in the us like the us right now it's like okay, if you want to get into pets pet products you know it's 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 extremely competitive and you have to have a lot of capital in the u in in australia today you can get in there but in five years time that's going to be a massive competitive category and you're going to be the, the leader in that space with, with a significant amount so I, I see it as a massive opportunity not only Australia but other uh, new markets um, throughout the world um, and and it also becomes potentially a backdoor to getting into the US market right once you launch mm. in Australia you grow your brand there um, you can then take that product um, and there's a transfer of, of the, the that, that equity that you have in that brand on Amazon into the into the US market right and you can you can keep going there so um, I, I'm, I'm a big supporter of, of, of that marketplace. Um, you know, no matter if we like it or not, um, e-commerce, you know, especially around that FMCG, um, you know, uh, you know, everyday goods that you need, uh, it, it's going to grow in every marketplace. So, um, yeah. yeah, I think there's big, big opportunity there. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, it was very, I shouldn't say funny, um, you know, like a couple of years ago, I used to work at a, an electronics store, right? It's called Joyce Main here in Australia. And it's like the biggest, I guess, or one of the biggest, you know, sell vacuums, fridges, computers, etc. cetera. Um, and just watching it over the last couple of years, just, you know, getting less and less people coming through and how often they would talk about how Amazon was taking so many of their customers. And I'd kind of sit there quietly like, oh no, that's, that's horrible. I can't believe that's happening. Um, but it, it is very true, you know, and I think a couple of years ago, a lot of Australians, we hadn't even thought about Amazon here as they were like getting their roots in and setting up the warehouse and then suddenly just exploded and you just saw mm. ads everywhere, ads on Spotify, ads on YouTube. Um, so just absolutely spread across and um, like you said, just a continuously growing opportunity. Um, well, dude, if you, go, if you go to Best Buy in the States right now, like it, mm. it's, it's one of the biggest retail electronic stores you know throughout the u.s and it's like i mean it's like going to a morgue you know it's such a bad experience you go in there you know they're half out of stock you know they they they, they 
you know the the staff there is not is not kind of creating a good experience for you um, yeah. and and you know most people are going there are looking at stuff because they have to and either it's, it's an immediate buy or they just you know saying oh this is what i wanted i check out the size and great i'll just bring up my phone and i'm buying it on amazon so they're not even buying it there right so yes. um yeah it's, it's a tricky place for retail but i think you know hopefully the future of retail is is creating a a much more of an exper experiential um you know uh, great um you know setting where you can go and enjoy yourself in that retail experience you know i, I think best buy can absolutely do it and just like create mm -hmm. like these amazing experts who can, who know that like hey you're coming there to you know physically see things in person or whatever and then and then you buy it you know on on online on their side or, or whatever it is so yeah you know there's a place for everything but uh it's certainly it's, it's changing for sure yeah that's right it's forcing them to level up to be better um which i think is really really cool um and then sort of to to set not a segue but transition to the second question which is a bit different to that but i'm sure you're not surprised by it by just uh the way the world is with business at the moment um, but surrounding AI, which of course I know you see everywhere, all my YouTube ads are for AI now, get AI to build your Shopify store, do your ads, everything. Um, and I know that people know that you can obviously go onto like ChatGBT and be like, give me a brand name suggestion, right? Or maybe give me some ideas um, for my bullet points. But I had a lot of people asking, they wanted to ask you of like your knowledge surrounding or what sort of tools we could use to use AI specifically for Amazon. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's exactly what you said, speaking of leveling up, right? That's exactly what uh, AI and, and all technology and, and as the world, um, you know, moves more into technology, it's forcing us as humans to level up uh, and pushing us to our strengths as humans, which is creativity, expert knowledge, you know, and, and the, the basic things are, are, are getting handled, right? And that's what's happened mm. in AI. And, you know, we saw it launch in November of, of last year and, and, you know, I immediately saw that as, as, you know, a type of event that will become an everyday, uh, you know, engaging point in our lives as humans, much like, you know, Amazon becoming an everyday experience where you buy, buy something on your phone, right? It, mm, AI is yeah. something that, that we're going to use in, in every aspect of our lives. And so we jumped on that quickly. We were the first in the space to launch an integration into our listing optimization tool um, in January. Um, we launched our beta. So we're, we're industry leading in, in that space. Um, you know, even now, uh, Amazon has got their own, uh, you know, AI that they launched on their, on their listing for new listings. It's crap, but you know, they yep. <laughs> want to go in that space. So, you know, yeah. um, it's there and it's going to be in everything that we do. Right. But, um, at the end of the day, it, it's 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 the questions you ask of AI and it's how you use it that is going to make the difference, right? And so the way that we saw uh, ChatGPT as an integration into our tool was, hey, this is not going to be a replacement for us as humans, as owners of our of our of our product or our listings or agencies who are, are doing it. What it's going to do is is what it should be doing, which is giving us an amazing, you know, input and and baseline. Um, that we then can finesse, you know, improve and and uh, work on to be even better, right? So, um, you know, our tool is is does exactly that. You you can obviously create a listing that is typically, you know, thirty percent better optimized than than the best listings on page one. So your baseline is incredible in terms of how it matches the algorithm, um, and that's what we've trained the, the 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 AI to do really well, right? Which is how do you exact but specifically broad match for the most terms higher up mm -hmm. in your listing. Um, and write it in a way that's not over stuff that makes sense, that has the tone that you want, whatever, whatever that is. But more importantly, you can compare that listing to your best competitors and you can see where they're strong, weak and, and how to improve it. And that's, that's, that's where you can get the baseline and you can start to level up and you can say, okay, how can I make this even better than every competitor? More importantly, how can I take the time that I was spending two hours on creating a listing and put that two hours into researching and connecting better with my audience, truly understanding like, you know what drives them what makes them tick how can i how can i make this difference um you know how, how can i connect with them better right and that's where you're gonna um create a massive difference in your business um on amazon and, and beyond in your product creation or whatever it is so yeah ai is definitely an exciting time it's mind-boggling and and i think we all get that feeling where we just see something and we're like geez dude that is insane you know like how do we yeah. how do we do that or, or whatever but you know we take it in our stride as as, as uh, entrepreneurs as humans whatever it is and uh, we'll figure out how to how to get the best out of it and um yeah certainly uh, you know we're gonna keep evolving our products in the ai space you know imagery um 
you know, just, just getting different ideas. Um, and uh, um, at the end of the day, you know, it, we, it's still going to, this can be used in many forms, uh, even, you know, around uh, product differentiation, getting ideas on how you can do that um, and just, just making us level up. So yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I, I use the listing optimizer tool a lot and I love the AI feature for all the reasons you said, um, you know, in Amazon Australia, especially, um, there's so many competition who are selling there who are just doing such a lazy job because to them, you know, it's like this small market um, and where, you know, you'd once have to maybe go contact a freelancer to get them to write you up your initial listing. You just pull your competition in, get the AI to do the listing. And it's like that itself I found so many times was already better than the competition by a long way. And then I could go in and like make a couple of little tweaks. And just by doing that, you've like already put yourself above um, all these other people. So that was like my favorite part about it. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. 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 That's sweet. And look, um, I think it's because uh, I was looking and you guys have got, is it, it's the new version of the listing optimizer that's coming out. Is that right? With the, the latest AI update? Uh, it's actually out, yeah. So oh, it is out, sorry. Version, yeah, we have the new version of ChatGPT4. Um, you know, in terms of our, our focus at the moment, it's around, you know, continuing to 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 focus on maximizing the potential of the heartbeat of your storefront, which is your, your listings, right? Um, mm. And, uh, you know, it's based on listing optimization, but, um, you know, it's obviously created based on image creation, uh, conversion, um, insights into connecting with with um your customers which we we do through love hate and then obviously um keyword intelligence which is which is one of our strongest keywords on fire and finding the right keywords and and finding opportunity where your your competitors haven't uh found the opportunity yet right and winning at that so we all continue to focus in that area with with our new uh tool developments um and uh and and definitely in addition to that some some more detailed reporting around categories, subcategories, niches, et cetera, which, which uh, I think is important for us to, to understand uh, as, as business owners. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And look, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, John, look, those were, those were the main two questions that I had just surrounding Amazon and your new tools and everything. Um, and just sort of to, to finish things up, I have a question that I ask everyone who, who comes on and I get to interview and it's not so much Amazon related, um, but it can be obviously just from today or anything in general. But I love to ask other entrepreneurs um, to share with the audience, like what's something that you yourself are grateful for at the moment? Oh, grateful. Um, yeah, put you under the pump. <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to say the boring one, family, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> having family and, and, and doing that. But no, I think, I think outside of that, um, you know, what, what I would say in, in, in relation to, to work, um, I think one thing that I'm grateful for and I appreciate every day is, you know, as a business owner, you, you have your, your initial drive is to, is to create a business and, you know, create a product and, and usually it's about, you know, a financial aspect of, of, um, building, uh, you know, wealth or, or whatever it is. Right. But, mm. you know, the, the, the side consequence of doing that is that you start to build a team, right? You start to build, um, in, you know, a team, you have employees, um, and, and you start to create a little family unit with, with those people. Right. And, and in mm. most cases, um, you know, whether it's a VA, you know, in the Philippines or, or it's, you know, a team member or whatever it is, you start to create a relationship with those people, your manufacturers, um, and that's a pretty cool uh, part of the journey because at the end of the day, you know, you, you become responsible for the, the, the time that, that, your, that your team and your employees are putting into your product and, and as they journey their life and they have their families, right? And there's a responsibility mm. that comes with that. But there's also, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a great opportunity to make an impact in people's lives and help them to develop and grow. And, uh, just enjoy their journey or whatever they're doing. So, you know, that's that's a that's a cool part of being um, a business owner is you get that opportunity and and um, you know you can treat it as just a you know a general employee relationship or you can get more involved in that and you know, have enjoy the impact that you have on on each other's lives, right? From from both mm. sides. So, I would say that's definitely something that that I'm grateful for in this entrepreneurial journey is 
um, creating that that team of people and people that you would otherwise never know, right? And, and how do you hmm. how do you how do you grow together? Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely love that. I couldn't agree more, especially like in the modern day business. You know, you meet all these people from all around the world um, that you never would have got to before. Um, so that's absolutely yeah. lovely. Well, look, John, thank you so much. I really appreciate um, you giving us your time and sharing absolute wealth of knowledge. I don't know if you could see, but I was taking some notes and stuff down there of um, some ways that I can apply it to my own, to my own listings and stuff as well. Um, so thanks so much uh, for coming on and um, we might get to chat to you again in the future. 100% man, good luck everyone out there and uh, always welcome to hit me up and, uh, and uh, see if we can help each other. Legendary, that sounds great. Alrighty mate, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.